so much. So, President Zelensky, the, uh, Vladimir, it's a great honor and privilege to welcome you uh, back here to the NATO headquarters. Uh, and, to, and to return the warm welcome you gave me when I visited uh, Kiev uh, just a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago. Your leadership, the bravery of the Ukrainian armed forces, the resolve of the Ukrainian uh, people continues uh, to uh, impress uh, and inspire all of us. And, uh, as you know, we will stand by you, provide support to Ukraine, uh, because uh, this is really important uh, for the whole of uh, NATO. Um, NATO defence ministers uh, will uh, meet today and uh, tomorrow. We will, of course, address uh, Ukraine. We'll meet in the US-led uh, Ukraine uh, contact group. Uh, where we will mobilize more support, coordinate our military support to, to Ukraine. We will meet in the NATO-Ukraine Council that we established at the Vilnius summit uh, that will further strengthen our relationship and help uh, uh, Ukraine move towards a NATO membership. Uh, we will also uh, tomorrow uh, meet uh, and address deterrence and defense. We agreed new defense plans at the Vilnius summit and now Everything is about implementing uh, those defence plans with 300,000 troops on high uh, readiness. We will also address NATO's missions and operations, including our presence in uh, Iraq, helping to prevent ISIS uh, from uh, returning, and also our presence in Kosovo. We have seen new increased tensions there, so it's important that NATO has increased its presence in Kosovo. Then we will also address the incident uh, in the uh, Baltic uh, Sea uh, with the damage uh, caused to uh, uh, critical uh, undersea infrastructure. Uh, I spoke with President uh, Sauli Ninisto and Prime Minister uh, Kaya Kalas yesterday, and we are in close contact. The important thing now is to establish what happened uh, and uh, how this could happen. If it is proven to be a deliberate uh, attack on uh, NATO critical infrastructure, uh, then this will be, uh, of course, serious, uh, but it will also be met by a united and determined response uh, from uh, NATO. Uh, and, uh, uh, and tomorrow we will also be briefed by the um, Israeli uh, Defense Minister, uh, Galant, uh, on the situation in Israel. Uh, allies condemn the horrific uh, terrorist attacks on innocent civilians uh, in in Israel over the weekend, and uh, we are looking forward to uh, the briefing from the, prime, uh, from the defense minister. So once again, uh, there, uh, President Zelensky, there, Vladimir, welcome to NATO. Your fight is our fight, um, your security is our security, and your values are our values, so we will stand by Ukraine for as long as it takes. Welcome. Thank you so much, Secretary General. First of all, thank you so much that two weeks ago, I think you've been and to give, and uh, it was a very important meeting. We spoke about priorities for Ukraine, for defending how to go, how to survive during this next winter for us. is big, big, one of the biggest challenge, what will be. But anyway, we are preparing, we are ready, and now we need some support from the leaders. That's why I'm here today. Thanks for the invitation. Of course, I'll have possibility to speak and address to all the ministers of defense on the platform. Rammstein is so important, about 50 representatives of minister of defense and their teams and ministers. It's so important. We will speak about the priorities, how to push Russia out. It means out of the, our native land, and it means we will stop the war. Yes, and uh, we'll speak about it. And uh, you mentioned, Secretary, that tomorrow you'll speak about the situation in Israel. So also there will be some signals from, from us, from Ukraine. Of course, we are in the war, so we are in the war, so we understand what does it mean terroristic attacks, such victims, tra tragedy. My, my recommendation, if I can use this word, my recommendation for the leaders of the world. I remember the first days of our full-scale war. It began from terroristic attacks from Belarus by missiles, then Russian army, and you know, that was the biggest tragedy what we had. And so many dying people and so many deaths, so many. and. Uh, it's so, it was very important not to be alone. 
very important. And it can help to save your nation, people, save the lives. So my recommendation to the leaders to go to Israel and I think to support people, just people. I'm not speaking about any institutions, just to support people who've been under terroristic attacks, people who are dying now. It's very important. Unity is more important than to be alone. It's more strong. It's very important. That, that's what, what can I say about, about it. Sometimes we are thinking how to prevail or how to stop the war, how to manage something, dialogue with Iran or Russia and etc. Sometimes we are thinking. I think we have to think oppositely. We have not to give possibility for aggressors even to think about the sword world war, the new wave of aggression, the new big tragedy. That means if there is a big political support of the people, this means unity. That's why I recommend to go there. Of course, if uh, the Israel on side will be ready. Сегодня я приехал на Рамштайн. Я, 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 to save energy network, to save people, to save grain for uh, transit grain, uh, for, to save these routes for Africa, Asia, for the world. So it's, it's important that long distance missiles or long distance weapons, doesn't matter how you call the problem, how, how, how to get it. Yes, because you need this, especially for the one reason, to push Russia out of our land. And I think these two things are the most important. And the third thing, how to defend. Just to stay each day and defend. It's not about counteroffensive. Counteroffensive is one direction. But you also have to defend because opposite you, Russia, big, big army of these terrorists. That's about artillery. Just speaking about artillery. Three very concrete things. Keep independent, please. I think I think she 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 no, she is supposed to have the correct. Okay. About you, about you. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We're very quickly about you. I, I I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll meet with President Michel, or, or I, I will see what what will be today because everything is very quick. But I will be happy if we will have this plan. Our teams will connect. But anyway, we had meeting. Uh, some days ago with President Michel, we spoke about it. Almost everything is ready from our side to open negotiation. So we, we, we've done almost everything. Sorry, Kiev independent, I think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Secretary General, uh, Ukrainian And soldiers... it's true that Kiev is independent. <laughs> Thank you. I am from Kiev. Uh, Ukrainian soldiers on the ground cite a severe lack of ammunition, particularly mortar bombs, uh, that makes it even more difficult to wage a counteroffensive. What are NATO countries planning to help Ukraine, and how soon can we expect a rapid, supply, uh, rapid increase in supplies, and why has it been taking so long for NATO countries to increase the production of ammunition to match the needs. And sorry, and Mr. Zelensky, I have a, what are the most critical weapons that you need, your country needs to uh, waste, to, to have better results in the counteroffensive? Well, as so a first of all, we need today to mobilize more support to Ukraine. Uh, and as President Zelensky just said, this is about air defense, it's about artillery, it's about uh, ammunition. And, uh, and I welcome the new announcement we have just uh, heard over the last uh, couple of days from Romania uh, and also from uh, Germany. And I expect uh, more NATO allies to make uh, further announcements uh, today for uh, more uh, support to Ukraine because we need to sustain and step up uh, their support. Uh, air defense is critical to protect uh, the cities, uh, the, the, the economy, uh, the critical infrastructure of Ukraine, uh, and that helps them to, 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 to help themselves, because then the economy can function, then, uh, then, then things can work in Ukraine, and that will help uh, the Ukrainians to also produce, uh, to trade, uh, to function as, as, uh, as a normal country, and that will uh, increase their ability to finance and to provide uh, also ammunition uh, themselves for the uh, the, uh, the war. What we are seeing now is that President uh, Putin 
is preparing once again to use winter as a weapon of war. Uh, meaning uh, attacking uh, uh, the energy system, uh, the gas infrastructure. We need to prevent that uh, and with more advanced and, uh, and, and, and increased capabilities for air defense, we can make a big difference. NATO allies has stepped up production. Um, we have now 2.5, 2.4 billion in what we call framework contracts for increased uh, ammunition production, uh, out of which 1 billion is firm uh, contracts. And we are constantly working on ramping up production to enable Ukraine to uh, continue to fight uh, this just war and to continue to liberate the land. Secretary General Olmes answered long this. We'll see. We'll have meeting with Prime Minister. I hope we will speak not only about F-16. We also have to think how to live during the war. It means the reconstruction. And there are some voices in the world that we don't have money to help Ukraine in reconstruction. The answer is very quick. You have assets. Russian assets. If they destroyed us, we can use this money. Let's find the key to have this Russian money and spend them on reconstruction of Ukraine. That is one of the main things what I want to speak about with the Prime Minister Kroll. President Zelensky has to attend Thank you so many much. important meetings, so now we need to end this. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.